Okay, I think I believe uh yes yeah, so the first part and ends around here. Yeah. Uh, so, okay, so let's go to the next one. So I had to go uh, somewhere and I gotta stop it. So okay, so then we we'll look at the feature of Zeiss and if you have a look at the modifier, if you don't have it then it's not acceptable. Then we look at the uh, control applied to the feature of Zeiss. If not, then apply to the feature, look at the modifier. You uh, you have the modifier, so it's not acceptable. Yeah. Then we look at the modifier, you have it, look at the tolerance, you don't have it, not acceptable because you need tolerance in order for us to control the perpendicularity, otherwise it wouldn't make sense. Then we look at, of course, after tolerance, we look at the data. Yeah. So mean like you start with are we controlling uh, if this control yeah, apply to uh, the feature size and yes look at the modifier if you have it yes look at the tolerance you have it then you look at the datum reference if you don't have it not acceptable yeah you're not applying the control to the feature size so then you must have applied to the feature you look at the modifier you don't have it you look at the tolerance you don't have it and that's unacceptable yeah uh, unacceptable you're not applying to the feature result, so you must have applied to the feature. Look at the modifier, you don't have it. Look at the tolerance, you have it. Look at the datum reference, you don't have it. It's unacceptable because you need the datum, you know, plain for us to be able to uh, uh, control the perpendicularity of that feature. Then, feature size going this way, feature going this way, and you have a two, you know, distinct flow chart to make the decision. All right, so I fixed this a little box because it becomes so off when we bleach the background. Okay, then you do your problem uh, number six to seven in your book. Then we just this one, a pretty. Yeah, make sure you read them. Don't just copy and turn in your assignment. If you do it, so you're gonna have an issue when you take the test, which some of you are facing. You know, so make sure you really, really study. Okay, and. Now we'll get into our orientation, which we have learned so far. Recap, yeah. So we have learned three different orientations on the range. So one is your um, angle, and the other one is a parallelism, and the last one is your um, perpendicularity. Yeah. So angularity, of course, you have feature, you have size of the feature, yeah, and you will go. That's our flow chart anyway. Yeah, so make sure you uh, go one by one size, you know, then you're going to look at uh, your uh, material condition. We also call that the vi uh, virtual yeah, condition VCVC, VC. you see it in our uh, calculation, but you can call it material condition, that's fine, yeah. Then of course it go into your modify application, yeah. Uh, we don't really do uh, calculations, yeah, uh, most of us are doing it with the uh, program application. So anyway, so your virtual condition, and then you have your modifier you have uh, on your feature size that we decide, yeah? and then of course are followed by your tolerance and your uh, data yeah? to the end. And then when you do, your, when you do this orientation apply to your uh, feature, then it's going to jump all the way yeah? to the datum reference, because your datum reference, you always require that to control yeah? these orientation or uh, tolerances. All right, so then we will go exercise. Uh, make sure you uh, look at 68 to 70. That's your homework. And you're going to do three, you know, uh, either the example that I, the true or false stuff, you know, not very, uh, not very much in this uh, chapter. And then you go and touch up your 68 to 70 in your book and attempt that and turn it, you know, to your assignment. Your sixty eight is this and make sure don't don't just copy the answer and give it back to me. Make sure you study with it, you know, and check. Of course and then because I have a duty to provide the answer so to you. Yes, so, but don't just copy and give it to me. I meant you to study. Study is not copying. Studying is studying, you know. To put it into your memory. Okay, not trying to get it by heart, let's try to understand it, you know. Well, that's it for this uh, chapter of orientation tolerances, and that's for actually this week, yeah.